In this video, I'm working to Volo and Togepi. Terry support EX Row tech. Did you have a feeling that he's not support? Okay, EX Row field. You know, yeah, um, field EX Row tech. Interesting to steal. Makes sense. Terry still not knowledgeable. Which is what what happened to the last one? Okay, switch HP, good. Attack, switch attack, okay. Things with defense, decent speed. Okay, stats is looking just average. Pick curiosity, the move, the user's moves never miss. When the user uses a normal attack moves, it becomes fairy type. And then summons fairy zone when it uses the status move the first time. Yeah, it's very interesting. Business opportunity, the minus one random stat when the user's move is successful. And plus one gauge when you hit. Interesting. He would definitely have metronome. Circle team S move up three. Powers up sync move of all allied sync press when there's a circle. Okay, so I assume he will probably have Sino circle. Then that means he would also have fairy zone. That's actually pretty strong. Dazzling gleam. Okay. Sino solidari solidarity. I assume this is just uh Sino circle. Oh no, there's extra, extra stuff. That's there is also plus one physical move up next and special move up next to all allies. It applies. Oh, Sino Circle defensive. Okay, so it powers. So it powers up the moves and sync moves of all allied sync pairs by five percent. Then why is it called defensive? Then reduce attack move and move damage taken by all sync pairs by ten percent. So the maximum is twenty percent power up, twenty five percent max uh, damage reduction. Is that number different from like regular stuff? Wait, let me check. Yes, it is. Okay, so this is from. Uh, I don't know why this is still Pikachu. This is Nate. Okay, this is Nate and Hexorus, the Master Fair. So Nate has maximum power of forty percent and fourteen percent damage reduction. So yeah, okay, it makes sense to be called defensive now because there's more de damage reduction, which is nice, I guess. Masterful metronome. So it's the B move. Interesting. When the user uses the uses any move once. So yes, it is unlimited. That's nice. He uses one of several moves at random. Hold up. Wait, hold on, hold on. With some exceptions, the user will also use a move other than metronome. What the heck? The move is called metronome and then you say you can also use another move that's not metronome. Okay, I'm not really sure what this means. Activates one of several additional effects at random. Plus one physical monex and special monex to all allies. That's pretty good because it's unlimited use. So yeah, you can literally just your entire thing will like, have like a permanent 40% buff to you know your everybody including you know the circle as well if i mean this is a very stupid thinking but because it has freaking no the user's move never misses right imagine metronome has fisher <laughs> i highly doubt it though that'd be crazy ah okay oh wait yes fisher it what? No, I don't believe this man. No way he has Fisher. No way. Wait, this is freaking crazy. Fisher is an Oko move. That means Fish that means he can Oko? Is that true? But of course we don't know the odds of this. Maybe it's evenly spread out, so it's so it's one in eleven chance. And all of these are very high damaging moves. Dynamic punch, gunk shot, frenzy plant, all of these are very high BP moves. And they cannot miss. So he can do some pretty strong chip damage and even freaking I don't know Oko. And then also the several effect things. So okay, all are even, even percentage. Move gauge acceleration, physical damage reduction, special damage reduction, quick hit defense, stat reduction defense, status condition defense. Okay. Ruin enthusiast merchant designate. That's a long name. So it's a fairy zone thing. And then the actual tech. He is very interesting, I would say. Quite interesting. So he can summon Fairy Zone two times, which is nice, I guess. Oh, I think I just skipped over the train move freak. Plus four attack and special attack and max crit. Okay, that's that's alright. But yeah, this is looking pretty strong, honestly. And also random debuff as well. I forgot about that. But the fact that yes, Fisher is very I think it's a bit overkill. I don't think they should have put a Fisher there. Maybe it's not it's a typo. Hopefully it is because okay, maybe okay, hopefully it's not because I think it would be fun to Oko cool stuff. So yeah, let's move on Syncrete. Okay, 1 out of 5. Got Unflappable. 2 out of 5. We have Little Remedy, Quick Cure, Dazzling Gleam, Imja 3. Cold Smack 4, okay. Confusion, Sync Regen, eh. Circle MG 2. Quickly charges, so faster gauge in Circle. And attack move damage reduction. So reduces damage from attack move and Circle. And circle. Trainer move MPR 2, not really. Not super effective, moves up 
two powers up the user moves that are not super effective. That is very interesting. MGR three for metronome. Okay, that's all right, I guess. Three out of five. Overwhelm nine. So debuff attack. That's nice. Sync free for so applies free next to all allies for the first time using move. First time. It's eh, I guess. Super duper effective 5, I don't think it's really good because, yeah. I mean, the the moves are pretty strong for all this, but you know, it's 1 in 11 chance to be super effective. No, it's not even 1 in 11 chance because, like, okay, yeah, it kinda is 1, one out of 11 because there's 18 types, so not every single type is covered. Brain Sing 5, so some nuke, okay. C, no C, defenses extension to okay, extension to the circle, nice. Satisfied sticker 9, the minus 1 special attack when you hit the opponent. Not super, oh, okay. Soften up 1, okay, guarantee crit on sync when you are max crit. T move, attack up, and special attack up 9. So plus 1, attack and special attack when the trainer uses, so using the trainer move. So you only get to plus 5. It's not even max, but yeah, 4 out of 5, head start 1, okay, so move on ally, oh I just realized this is on ally, oh I realized that, I thought it's 2 himself only, but you can buff other people as well, if you need, so physical boost up 1 and special boost, boost up 1, boost 1, boost up 1, 9, this is confusing man, so use trainer move, plus one physical up, move up next and special one next, that's kind of useless, I don't want to say useless, but like, don't think it's worth taking this, yeah, let's go. Oh no, it's one more. 5 out of 5. Fairy zone, team attack, move DR2. So reduce damage taken by all allies when fairy zone is activated. Sundering 9, so it is decent. Minus 1 defense or special defense of both when you attack the opponent. Okay, 3 out of 5. I'm curious to see the. Oh, sadly, there's no DPS for <laughs> Metronome. Okay, so according to Absolutely, it's 1% chance. Maybe probably to activate but the good thing is that it's a guaranteed hit from his first passive right so if you activate feature boom gg it's unlike uh the other token p right which you know when you activate feature not only do you need to have the one in 18 chance to activate feature there's also like the accuracy i think it's like 30 percent accuracy or something or 50 i forgot so like yeah that's a very high chance yeah this one is only one percent activation which is pulling a master fair i guess but yeah let's just think of something i mean you can do nuke yeah Actually, uh, yeah, maybe you can do nuke with EX for attack, but I don't think you want to use him as a DPS in pair. You're most likely just going to use him for, you know, supporting stuff, like maybe extension, damage reduction. You can even have some debuff if you need Cosmic 4. Maybe even this as well, because he might be able to do some, like, decent damage. His attack is low, but the BP or the moves he can use is pretty high, so you can do some, like, cheap damage if needed. But then again, if you're doing German Stadium and taking the, the reduction thing or the super effective reduction thing, then it's very useless because you're not gonna do any damage at all. <laughs> Barely any damage. So, yeah, 15 more energy, you can take Overwhelm. Oh, okay, not enough energy. But yeah, you can take this. I mean, you can just spend like 10,000 gems, 10,000 orbs to get this, but you can also take the Satisfied Sneaker. And yeah, he is very interesting. I wouldn't say he's like super OP, but very interesting sing pair, I think. Can be useful as well, has a lot of like some good stuff like debuffing. Oh yeah, also this one, the gauge. That means you're gonna have no gauge issue at all because it's one gauge and you're gonna hit. So yeah, remember he also has an AoE move. So if you want, you can also AoE debuff stuff, AoE confuse also. So he can be a pretty like, useful like side character, side, side character, side sync pair to use. And of course, the circle, pairing him with like Sino sync pair would be quite useful as well. But yeah, for the fun, I just do a nuke build. Let's see how he can do. I'm not expecting much. Maybe even do a dazzling limb just for fun as well. I don't know. Maybe taking Cop Smack would be more useful. Okay, let's go. I am not expecting much. It would be laughable if he can do even 20k, honestly. I think that's alright. Oh, he also has Fairy Zone, don't forget. Oh, I forgot that he has Fairy Zone. So he has yeah, quite a bit of utility. Sino Circle as well as Fairy Zone. Quite useful. Yeah, <laughs> no, he, <laughs> I said not even 20k. This is barely 10k, man. Yeah, even with. 6 ix is going to be 15k only, so don't expect him to do sync damage. Wait, okay, let me check the sync thing. This is also not even that good. So yeah, don't use him as a DPS. Use him as a like a support to so monkey sync pair. For zone, eh, for yeah, for fairy zone, you know, circle and some debuff as well. So yeah, he's not he's not bad and very interesting with the metronome as well. Yeah, oh yeah, don't forget that the, quite the important stuff which is the physical monix and special monix for metronome. So it's like a permanent forty percent multiplier to everybody because you're gonna keep using the metronome anyways. So yeah, he can do some cheap damage. Of course, with the metronome. Of course, I forgot. Uh, of course, I forgot about the Sino Circle. Sino Circle, okay, okay. Nuke is now 15k. Even with Nuke, maybe uh, with 6 is 22k. Still nothing. Still not like crazy good. It's just okay, but yeah, 
Then again, you might want to sink him for Fairy Zone as well. Right, the EX row, uh, the Sky EX field. So yeah, maybe Fairy Zone. You just put Fairy Zone for fun. And yeah, then this one will become like 33k, which is pretty good now. And this Ingram, just okay. Yeah, I wouldn't say you want to use him for nuke damage. This is probably not a good crit for him because don't, yeah, don't expect him to do damage. Use him as a support and zone setter.